Well, this is a first. What? Our very first time scouting boondocking locations in this enchanted forest known as Michigan. <laughs> so, we're here in Michigan. This is our first potential spot. It would totally work for us, but we are meeting some friends that have a 40 foot fifth wheel. So we have to keep that in mind. We are gonna save this one with the truck and trailer, and then we're gonna go run up the road and check out a couple more in the Jeep. This entrance might be a little difficult for the fifth wheel, but there's kind of like a little spot over there too, worst case scenario. We're only gonna be here for roughly two to three nights. First the steps into the it. Great Lake. What do you think? It's great. So far, there's yes. an obstacle course. Look at obstacle. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Okay. Go. Oh. Send it. It's like the UP. It's so weird. <laughs> well, it's really coming down now. Apparently this amount of rain is uh, totally normal in the Midwest. We're in the Enchanted Forest. So this is a first. We came up to a tent that is like either abandoned or it's holding a spot. It's kind of weird because it's like open and it's full of rain. So either people put it here to hold a spot or they got murdered in the woods. The tent, well the tent looks almost brand new. Oops. Tent looks almost brand new, but there's nothing in it and nobody around and no, no other belongings. So either, yeah, they're like using it to mark a spot or... And it's staked down and everything, so it's weird. Well, all right, I guess we have the option to come back to this later because nobody else will probably come in here. Yeah, kind of weird. Okay. Yay, friends are here. <coughs> hi, friends. <coughs> you seen hi, Blue? Whoa. Come on. And I didn't even unhitch. Come on, Boops. Hey, Scott. Whoa. I just figured that was your new. So the caravan has started, you. guys. We are in Michigan and it is our first full Saturday in a new state and we are looking for something to do but it's raining cats and dogs. So we are just in the truck so we're going to drive down to Mus Muskegon. Muskegon. Hopefully we're pronouncing these things right because I have no idea. Yeah, we don't say. really we don't really have any plans today but we're like it's a full Saturday. Everybody's off work. We got six of us in our little caravan now. Like we got to go do something. And you can't sit in your trailer all day when it's raining. So we got raincoats, we got adventure sandals, and we're just going. We're just going to Muskegon. We're gonna go exploring today. Let's go. Well, there's like Michigan. Looks like the dang ocean. Definitely looks like an ocean. What can't... the hell? So we decided on Lost Lake Trail in Muskegon State Park. Melissa and I, well a lot of us actually wore the proper attire considering we're in tick country. Sandals. I'm in shorts. I think I'm the only, well me and Mike are the only ones in shorts. This is going to be perfect. We're doing great guys. Cash. It says, you may have found it, but make no mistake, to open the box, use the name of this lake. Which is, what did you say? Lost? Lost. Okay. Lost Lake. Just like the show. Lost. That's a pretty easy hit. Yeah. I know. Kind of just gave it away. Yeah. But Melissa's not very good at spelling, so. Oh, I'm not? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you ever see spelling errors in anything we do on social media, it's always Melissa. Oh, yeah, sure, totally. Yep, definitely. Oh, you got it. How did you spell it, babe? 
What's in there? L-O-S-T. What's in there? How would you spell lost, babe? L... I'd sound it out. There's just stickers oh. with numbers on them. Oh, I think it's like a riddle. Yeah, it's like... Oh, a riddle. Oh, there's like a whole... Okay, oh, so the whole are... walk might have more boxes. This is a no number it's one. There's a number one on this. Oh, you think you're number one? Yeah. Only in my life. <laughs> oh, so all that was in there was the one sticker. Yeah, a bunch okay. of stickers with number ones on it. All so right. I'm guess this is but this is the seventh seventh star box. So it's like a whole like it's like a scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. Hey babe. What's up? Are you gonna make out with that toad so he can become a prince? Uh sure. By the way, that was, Kate totally said that and I just stole it. <laughs> First steps. Into the it. Great Lake. What do you think? It's great. Is it great? It's a great. Are lake. you just saying that because it's a great lake? Uh, it's a little chilly, but it's nice. That was a really fun hike, and we are dipping our feet in. This is awesome. I don't know what to say, other than this is awesome. The storm we were in had progressively gotten worse, so we decided to head over to Muskegon, grab something to eat, and hunker down for a while. Considering there was another tornado warning or Today, watch. This one was a watch. Tornado watch. We decided to go to the. You said it was safe to go back. <laughs> we decided to go to uh, okay. one of the tornado shelters, which which actually a restaurant called Rad Dad's. Well, it's pretty rad. The tornado shelter is the actual ice arena, um, but it's yes. next to this Rad Dad's taco well, tequila bar. Yeah, they're like kind of interconnected. Right? Yeah. But anyways, we came here and the food was really good and uh, it was packed because everybody's trying to get out of the rain because it's raining so much. But we it got was... the uh, buffalo cauliflower and the brute, br what is it? Breast wain. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Breast wain, Brussels sprouts. It was good. And I got a taco and we got the teacher runs and it was all delicious. It was bomb.com and now we're just going to make sure we don't get sucked up by a tornado. It's gonna take a while to get used to Midwest weather. After about a 30 minute drive north, the sun came out and it ended up being a beautiful day. After some debate and some driving in the rain. Sorry, there's just- Yeah, your hair is my everywhere. My hair is attached to the tripod, sorry. Our friends decided to go on a dune tour in the Silver Lake sand dune area and we decided to come to- Sable Point Lighthouse. Yes, which is Petite Point. I don't know what that means. Petite Point au Sable Lighthouse. So let's go check out a lighthouse. L little Sable Point Lighthouse. And there's a cool trailer yeah, right here. Yeah, that's what it says. There's a cool trailer right here with gifts. So the original way that this lighthouse was lit was by a large burning, what did I say? Wick lamp. Large burning wick lamp. And then at some point in the 1900s, it was upgraded to a kerosene burning lamp. So I don't really know what the difference is, but you know. Well, you know, just advances in technology. Just a better, better lamp. Ooh, this sand is nice. And then, of course, with the advent of electricity, it was upgraded to electric. Guys, look, we're at the ocean. This is weird. It does look like the ocean. We're at the ocean. What? So weird. This is so weird. But the waves are so small. This is our first experience in the Great Lakes. This is weird. Sure is pretty. How Ocean. Yeah, Wisconsin's over there somewhere. Way over there. This is weird. <laughs> Are you tripping out, man? I'm tripping out, man. <laughs> Super weird. Oh, it's a cool lighthouse. Yeah.
Dork. Did I ruin your shot? I'm so sorry. No, I don't even care. You want to mention you dancing on the shore? So, here's the deal. What's the deal? Here's the deal. I don't want to sound ungrateful. It's just, I don't like the beach. But I like this beach. You know, we grew up in Southern California and we're very grateful that we were able to go to the beach a lot. I just feel like I don't like the beach. You just, you don't like the salt water specifically, It's right? mostly the salt water, the giant sharks that could eat you. The waves, I like the waves, the waves are fun. The waves are fun. Sharks don't really bug me, but apparently there's big old muskies in here that can eat you, according to our friends. Is that a fish? Yeah, there's a lot of big fish. They can't really eat you, but they're massive. But this is just cool. We've never been here before. Feels like you're at the ocean, but it's fresh water. It's just weird. <laughs> it's really, really cool. This is my kind of ocean. It's not an ocean. Crystal clear water, nice sand, little baby waves that are not gonna kill me. No sharks. No salt water. That's the biggest thing right there. No salt water that's gross and sticky. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.